Hello YouTube, this is Jerry D in Tennessee. I'm going to talk a little bit about MarketCaster. MarketCaster is a tool that E-Trade has that you can, um, once you have an account, and you go to uh, your complete view uh, link, which is actually the front page when you first log in. There's a launcher, there's a little on the right hand side of the screen, there's a launcher that uh, Market Caster is one of the links on the launcher launch pad. So, with the uh, Market Caster, what you can do when you create your watch list, you can group different watch lists. So, if you're watching, um, say, if you're following somebody like Tim Sykes and he sends out a watch list on a Sunday night, you can create your watch list and uh, you can load that up in Market Caster through this drop down. Okay, and it'll bring up the ones that's on that list. And the cool thing about this, Market Caster will give you a visual of the stocks as they go up. They'll turn green as the price is up above the open opening price. If they're down below, if they drop below the opening price for the day, it turns red. If there's not been any change, which I meant a few that's kind of out there and just sitting. Uh, you won't. You'll just have white. You it won't have a color. So, and you can you can group these. You can sort by the percent change, by the change in price, and it just gives you a quick visual. If you got a watch list and it makes the stocks that are spiking, it'll make them uh, stand out. So, I made a previous video talking about this tool and. Um, I've got to do a trading laptop, and I was going to set it up to run Market Caster, and I thought, you know, this is an opportunity to create a video. Then uh, this is actually going to be a pretty, pretty easy setup, a lot easier than my previous video, because I started talking about I, um, Open Web Start and Ice T. So if if you go out. If you're not doing anything on the PC that's Java related and you really don't care about the version, it's not that important to you, then if you go out to the site, go out to E-Trades e Help. If you see here, Java version 1.3 is under, my, under Macintosh. This is under the system requirements in E-Trade. I don't know why you don't have the Java version under Windows, but uh, it kind of looks like you don't need Java for Windows, but you really do to run Market Caster. So this right here should have been up here under Windows as well. So Java, Java version 1.3 is what the requirements are. But I know that Web Start was yanked out of Java about uh, Java 1.9. Okay, so what I did because I know it works. So <clears throat> I went for to these um, Java Standard Editions JDK 8 downloads. Went to the download page, and I'll put a link down below for the video, uh, so you can download it as well. But if you really don't care about the version of Java, and you want a decent version of Java to run it on, and then I'm running a 64-bit machine, so there's different downloads. Okay, so so if you want, if you're running a Windows um, 86 32-bit machine, then you would want to download this file. But if you're like me and you're running Windows 10 64-bit, then you pretty much want this JDK 8U271 Windows X64.exe, the one below this other one. So again, if you are on a 32-bit, an older system, 32-bit machine, which most people are going to be 64-bit these days, unless it's a really old machine, several, maybe 10 years old or so, um, 32-bit, you want this one. 64-bit, it actually says X64 on the executable. So, download this, run the installer, let it run its due. But once you do that, you're not done. 
Okay, so if you click on your um, start icon, go into this gear for your settings. Go into system. About. System info. Okay, now I'm on Windows Professional, so... Uh, Let's look at, we want to go to advanced system, or you could have went into control panel and went into system properties that way too, but um, going into environment variables because this is very important. So you have to set up a Java home. The executable will not set the Java home up for you. And here you want the path. C program files Java JDK 1.8.0 underscore 271. If you're using a different version of Java, this path will change. But in uppercase Java underscore home. And you also want to set up the JRE home, JRE underscore home, C colon slash program files Java JRE 1.8.0.271. It's the Java home, okay? You also, in your path, now this is under system variables that I did this. So under your path, you also want to add, I add the path to the JDK binary folder, which has all the executables, all the program files that are important in the path. So the OS can find all the executables when you run them. Okay, so you have to do that. And then bounce the machine. And you should be good to go. Log into your eTrade account. You'll click on the link. It'll take you to this. It'll download a JNLP file. Right here, which will get deleted after you run the application. You, it'll ask your browser. will ask you if you're in Chrome. Chrome will ask, do you want to keep marketcaster.jnlp, which is the web start file that launches the application? You say keep, you double click when the download finishes, and you launch the application and you get this right here. This beautiful, beautiful screen that's actually streaming all the start prices as they change. You can actually turn on the extended hours price over here on the right hand side as I have and it'll show the extended hours. After after these prices quit changing, these will keep changing until the after hours is over with, after hours trading. So you can still watch the prices after hours. But uh, I mainly use this during hours and like, like I said, you can group them. You can move all the gainers up to the top and percent gains like this one right here. FCEL right now is at 15% today gain. Um, SBES right now is at 13% gain. Uh, RMSL, 9%, wait, yeah, 9% gain, 9.5%. Grapefruit, 7% gain. You can watch all your stocks that you want to watch at that time. So, and like I said, you can, this, this connects to all your watch lists that you have created on um, E-Trade. It'll, it'll, behind the scenes, it'll go grab them, pull them in, and you can change the watch list, give or take which one you want to watch, what's important to you at the time. And this is a good visual to see where your stocks are, and that way you don't have to have all these windows popped up that you have to keep looking at all these charts and stuff. This is a good, quick, and dirty way to keep the eye on the stocks and what the prices are doing. So, with that, this is my simplest setup. I got to look at this um, computer and uh, the quickest, easiest way that I could uh, do this setup. And this is the uh, setup that, um, this is the easiest, quickest setup that I could do without going through all the. Um, the um, the extra downloads, open source downloads to get past Windows 9 
and the uh, fact that Web Start is not incorporated in Windows Class uh, Java 9, excuse me. Java 9, I think I said Windows 9. You Once you get past Java 9, you have to use an open source, open Web Start or IST to run Web Start. And um, they've not changed this program in a good number of years. There's still, uh, like you saw on the help, that uh, they support Java 1.3. You can download Java 1.3, and this will run, okay? I went with 1.8 because it's newer. It's got a lot more security patches, and it's does far. It's a bleeding edge until you start having to monkey with the with the um, operating system to actually make WebStart work because of the fact they have deprecated WebStart out of Java. Hopefully, E-Trade will uh, modify this or come out with a new version of this that uh, either runs in C or some other language. Um, maybe it'll be a, uh, you can open up a new tab on a browser and it can be a tab for um, this running a, you know, Java servlet. I mean, this is written in Java, so it would very easily be, could be very easily be turned into a Java servlet that's running on the web page, so. Uh, we'll see what they do. It could be a JSP page, whatever. But um, this is my, my quick and dirty on how to set this up and get it running. A lot of people may not be tech savvy when they get into E-Trade and uh, would like to like, see this button. It's like, how do I run this? So here you go. I thought I'd see if I hope this I hope this will help you if you want to run MarketCast or you want to use this tool because I like it. I think it's a very helpful tool. Uh, it's very important to my trading, the way I trade. So um, hopefully this video will help somebody else. So if you have any questions, drop the questions down in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, uh, you know, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these videos, uh, I invite you to to, uh, to subscribe to my channel. I'm glad to have you here in the video, and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Uh, I will state that I am not a financial advisor. I am not a stock advisor. This is a, a hobby of mine. This is thing, something I'm interested in. I am publishing these videos for education and entertainment purposes. Uh, hopefully, I could help people realize that there are spikes every day in the stock market. I'm picking them. I'm showing them to you. You can look them up on Yahoo Finance. You can see the spikes for the dates that I'm coming out with the videos. It's happening every day. You can make money in the stock market. A lot of people are down on the stock stock market. Now, I will also say you can lose money on the stock market, so you got to trade scared. You have to trade informed. And don't invest any money that you can't stand to lose. So with that, um, thanks for coming and joining and uh, visiting my video. And I uh, hope you come and look at some more of my videos and uh, subscribe to my channel. And I uh, hope you have a good week. Uh, this is um, December 22nd, 2020, right before Christmas. I hope everybody has a good holiday and uh, hope this next year brings a lot of profits to everybody that's out there trading. Thank you. Bye. Hey, thanks for coming by. Um, glad you checked out the video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please click on the like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, may God bless you, and I hope you have a good day. And bye.